Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today for design school, we're going to be talking about doing the knockout effect with your text in Silhouette Studio V4. The first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and put some text on your mat. We're going to type out designbundles.net. Now, once we get that text typed out, we'll go over to the right hand side and open the text style panel. And you'll want to pick a kind of big, chunky font when you're doing this effect. So we're going to do Uncle Grump. Okay. The other thing you want to do is you see how this is really spaced out. You'll want to play with the line spacing and get your characters closer to each other, not overlapping though. So we'll do about right here is good. And you can also just go in here and nudge this a little bit. So if we want to try 54 instead, just a little bit closer together, we can do that. And you can also play with the character spacing to bring it just a little closer to each other, but not actually touching. So we'll leave it here. Let's go ahead and fill our text with color. So we're able to see the two different colors and we are going to center it for this design. Okay. So the design that we're going to use as our knockout today is this ampersand and I'll just pull it over here and you see it's behind my wording. I want it on top. So we'll just right click and do bring to front and then we're going to center it exactly where we want it on top of our words. So if you grab both of these, go over to your right hand side and open the transform panel, you're able to align in the center and vertically as well. Okay. Once you have everything exactly how you like it, we're going to group these together so they will not move. And we're going to make a copy Now you can either right click and do copy and then right click again and do paste, or you can do your shortcut keys, which would be control or command C and control or command V. Okay, now we're going to go back to the original one we did. Go ahead and ungroup these two items. And we are going to open up the modify panel. The first thing you'll do is hit subtract. And now you have the ampersand subtracted from your words. And whenever it does this, it moves your design in a bunch of really small pieces. So go ahead and hit command G to group them back together, or you can right click and hit group. So we want to make sure this all stays together. Then we're going to come over here to our second one that we did. Right click, hit ungroup. And this time you're going to hit crop. And you see it just removed the words and left your ampersand here. Once again, hit command G to group, or you can right click and hit group, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, so now you have both of your items done. You'll just bring it over here and place it on top of your original design and it should fit perfectly right there. And you can see that you have your ampersand in the middle of your design bundles design. All right, guys, I hope that answered any questions you had about doing the knockout technique. If you do have any additional questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe before leaving so you'll know of our future videos. Have a great day.